pröva att stoppa om du tör Repeat after me, please. When you're hot, you're hot. And when you're not, you're not. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, I'm hot this evening. Look out. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Y'all out there fanning like y'all about to get happy or something. Look out. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. Now, let me tell you what this is symbolic. We set it up just this way. The reason that we are here this evening to talk about Joe versus the volcano. And so what I wanted you to do was to really experience this. <laughs> now, what is it when you're near a volcano that's just boiling over and about to explode? What is it that you feel that lets you know you are in the area of a volcano? What is it you feel? Oh, I know, I know. You feel heat, right? So you're going to experience this volcano because we have things in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. And because we don't handle them, because we don't deal with those things, they begin to get kind of hot. You know, you, you've heard the expression, boy, I'm in hot water. <laughs> have you ever heard that before? Yeah. And that means that there's something that you're in, that some dilemma that you've got to handle, something that you've got to deal with. So let's begin to look at this guy called Joe versus the volcano, and let's see what's in it for us. I took the liberty of changing some things to enable them to be symbolic for us. And Tom Hanks plays this role, and for those of you that have not seen the movie, it's about a guy who was going to work every day. It was very depressing. I mean, when you see it, I mean, the photography is very dingy looking and gray and very dim lighting and, and the people are going in looking drab, doing the same old thing every day in the same old way. Some of you work with people like that. There are faces that you wish you never ever saw. Am I right? I mean, if you never saw them again, it would be too soon. I am I right? I'm going right, all right? So this is what was going on. This guy was going into this job where it was a dead end job. He wasn't happy, he was miserable, and many of us can identify with that. He knew that he was capable of doing more but he had really given up on himself. He had really sold himself out. Yeah, some of us have done that. He made a trade-off. For whatever reason, he decided to do this. That's why we can identify with him. And the volcano is symbolic of the challenges that we invariably face in life, of the problems that many of us run away from handling. And he had to handle this. And how did he come in contact with this volcano? Well. What happened was he was going to this doctor constantly. He's a hypochondriac because he wasn't living his purpose. His dream had not found his life work. He would create illnesses for himself. And so what happened in the process, this doctor decided, he set him up really. See, when you're not living your goal, you go through life living like a victim. People can set you up for anything. They can run any kind of game on you and you go for it. I had a saying when I was in radio, stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. Well, Joe didn't believe in very much, including himself and his dreams, see? So he was very vulnerable. And so Joe was set up by this doctor. This doctor told him that he had a rare disease and he had six months to live. This disease was called a brain cloud. <laughs> oh, could double Joe went for it? <laughs> he believed it. But you know something? It changed his life. It changed his life. And so he was told, look here, you, you, don't, you don't have long to live anyhow. The guy said, why don't you do this? I'm going to give you all my credit cards, and this way you can live like a king, and there's something I want you to do. There was a catch. There's a volcano on an island that's about to erupt. And, and unless somebody jumps in that volcano, sacrifice their life, these people on this island will perish. Well, your life isn't worth much, and you don't have that long anyhow. <laughs> So why don't you take my credit cards, all my credit cards, American Express, Master Charge, all of them, take all of them, go live like a king and die like a man. And Joe said, okay. What did he have to lose? He was going to die anyhow. And his life didn't have any meaning and value to him as it was. 
So this was no big sacrifice on Joe's behalf. Now that says something about us, people, human beings, that when you have not structured your life so that it can have some meaning and value for you, that you'll be willing to throw your life away into anything. See, the volcano could be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be a job that does not meet who you are. That you go through life, you're doing it so long, you, you're operating in this and you're acting out that role of mediocrity for so long, you think it's you. It could be a relationship that's no longer giving you what you want and creating dis-ease in your body. It could be any kind of circumstance, like in his work environment, it was toxic, it wasn't good for him. But he didn't have the guts to do anything about it, to act on it. So therefore, it was making him miserable. And as a result, he couldn't see the beauty of life. In fact, in the movie, see, they had in the concrete, there was a, a daisy growing up through the concrete. But people were so caught up in the depression and the gloominess of life, they couldn't even see the daisy when somebody just stepped on it one day. 